Okay, so I had a comment posted on one of my videos about my Mercruiser here. And the question was, how did I mount the um, alternator? Well, I did not. I purchased the boat with the alternator already installed. Um, this is an 84 470 here. And what somebody has done is this is a uh, bracket like you could buy at Summit Racing or something like that um, <clears throat> for a Chevrolet or something like that. I don't really know. I don't know where the alternator came from either. Um, <clears throat> but it is, it's got a bracket here bolted onto the uh, front motor mount. And as you can see, it's nothing fancy. But it's bolted on. It's got a it's bolted here onto the bracket and it's got its belt here but right here um, let me get let me see here it's got a it's bolted onto the water pump cover right here and it has a homemade bracket right here that it's bolted through and then it's also bolted you can get in there and see it it's got a bolt running all the way to the cylinder head and there's a steel sleeve right here to give it support um, but I wanted to answer that question for that guy who posted that on my uh, video of the engine running. And just to clarify, I did not install the alternator. Um, someone else did prior to me purchasing the boat. Um, but it's just a simple one wire alternator that the wire runs back to here somewhere back to the battery. I assume. I'm not really sure how it all comes together. But, um, yeah, that's really what I got. I've, uh, I've got the big four inch uh, heat exchanger. I've got a new water pump assembly all on there. Um, I've got the alternator because I assume it has the alternator because my stator down in the flywheel burned out at some point. Um, that's what I heard is when I was, I was doing research on this engine that the, um, the charging system was prone to going out and so the way around it was just a single one wire alternator just just as simple as it could be to wire I'm sure um, and that seems to be fine when I run the boat I have 13 13 volts charging and it charges just fine it seems to work just fine um, so yeah someone somebody posted on my last video about that and I wanted to show you how it was mounted on there there's a couple different ways you can do it you can get kits for it and stuff but it looks like somebody just simply in the past however many years the it's been like this that somebody just simply ran down to their auto parts store and purchased a bracket and the alternator itself probably combined that might have been two hundred dollars and a belt um yeah i mean it depends on how you do it i mean you can buy the kit and spend some spend a bunch of money or you can go down to your auto parts store and spend a little money i mean it's all about what you want to do but um anyway this is my 470 uh, 1984, 470, 170 horsepower. Um, that's really about it. It's, uh, it runs great. Thanks for watching.